Hello, thank you very much for doing this. As always, it's very much appreciated. Um, so um, uh, our first question from our readers is, uh, we really, really love the new playset, the new jab, um, sorry, the new book of Boba, F Boba yeah, put my, sorry. I've, I'm in the middle of, I've got COVID at the moment, so just excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, so the book of Boba Fett throne room looks amazing and you've done a fantastic job on that. Uh, questions from our readers are, will the previously released Jabba's Throne Room with Dias and Jabba's Palace Adventure set connect with this and work with this playset? Yeah, thank you for this question. This is um, a great one and one I'm happy to share some light on. Um, so the, the previous release, the 2010 uh, Jabba's Dias, it's definitely been in my collection for a while. It's been chilling like right over on the edge of the shelf over here for years. Um, it, the great thing about it is that everything in this set was repositionable. Everything yes. in the new set is repositionable. So honestly, it's going to be super easy to take the pieces from the top of that dais, set them right on top of this dais. Nothing in the new set is fastened down in a permanent way that would prevent any kind of reconfiguration for a scene from other eras. Brilliant. And what about the, uh, the, the Jabba's play set that you put out a couple of years ago, the adventure set? Uh, the adventure set. So for this one, we did take a look at if we could get it to physically connect to the side of this one. Unfortunately, there's such a height difference because this one is able to offer the floor with that elevated stair piece up to the back balcony. So it was difficult with the height difference a little bit to make them physically connect. But what I can share is that we thought about putting these on the shelf next to each other. We really like we looked at the sculpture of it and the old one had this incredible crumbled texture across the top of the walls and the wash deco and the cracks and textures. We took that sculpt inspiration and that deco inspiration and we tried to make pieces that are going to look really great even sat on the shelf next to each other, though they may not physically connect. Fantastic, thank you. Awesome, and James, just you know, sorry to hear about that. Obviously, our yeah. thoughts go out to you. Thank you, thank you. Absolutely, James, back to you. We love all the new playsets coming our way, but without additional characters, they remain sparse. Uh, whilst you cannot comment on on upcoming products, can you ensure all of us that this is at least being considered, as the cost of buying some of the older figures is so prohibitive and puts people off spending two hundred and thirty dollars on a playset if they can't world build. Yeah, so um, I would say that I like to support a playset with threads throughout the line. And I definitely, I would never consider one of our playsets to be a one off item. Um, it's not a one and done. World building does mean more than the big hunk of playset. It means a little bit of the stuff to fill it with. And while we can't make promises that we'll be able to do everything that would fill a scene out, if we did that, we wouldn't be servicing, you know a balance across the many entertainments of Star Wars. Um, I think you may see us come back to it a little later sometimes. And, you know, we've done this in the past with items like, you know, the Bespin freezing chamber. We followed up to update our Lando and our Lobot. We hope that you guys love those figures. I did. Um, and then as well, when we released the Navarro Cantina, we created the deluxe packs to fill that scene out with the incinerator trooper effects and the new update to the eWeb Canon. So it's something that I'm thinking about is trying to tie those threads across the collection so that there's more than that one-off item. Um, it's definitely on our minds. Ugnaughts are needed for that carbon best thing chamber. <laughs> I do hear you on that. <laughs> awesome. Just a reminder that these questions came from our readers and not necessarily from me. Um, okay. so, um, Toy Fair would normally be happening at this time of year and we'd see a plethora of reveals across all the lines. Um, yesterday we had our first event of the year, first fan event of the year, and we got seven reveals. So what gives? <laughs> um, hopefully one of those reveals uh, was you know, punched above its weight a little bit. Um, I think in short, this live stream wasn't meant to take the place of Toy Fair. And certainly we're in a different place than we were two or three years ago when it was kind of Toy Fair and then nothing else for several months. Uh, you know, we had several bonus bounties reveals over the past several weeks. We have more coming, uh, which is exciting. Um, and, and again, we've moved, you know, independent of the pandemic to ensuring we have news for, for the community throughout the year and not just, you know, those those big two to three times a year. So I guess what I would say is, you know, once we get through the first three months of the year or whatever, uh, if we can compare the amount of reveals and the amount of news to what we would have done at Toy Fair in the past, I think it'll be comparable. Okay, thank you. James, what have you got? Nice segue into the Amazon Bad Batch four pack. Um, there's lots of us that still need that. And we know that restocks are coming. Can you give us an update on when they're coming, please? 
Yep, absolutely. So, you know, obviously we all know that item went on pre-order last year, sold out quickly. Um, those original pre-orders should be shipping the end of this month. Um, we announced at that time there would be additional stock available. That's still the case. Again, this is one of those state of the world things. We now do expect that additional stock to be later this year. Okay. Uh, so that's been delayed a little bit, but there's there's no change in the plans for that to eventually be available. Thank you. Uh, the Razor Crest has started to ship um, in the US. I don't think it's shipped yet in Europe and the UK. I just wondered whether you can give us an update, whether you expect them all to, sh to ship the next couple of weeks or yeah, just an update, please. Yeah, no, absolutely. We're excited. You know, I was, I was hoping to have mine today to, to display behind me. I was going to stay up late last night, but um, you know, it, we're, we're excited about it. Hopefully you guys saw the unboxing video by Chris, the designer. Uh, it's the ships of work part. His, uh, the video is great. Awesome. Um, the, the majority of products should be shipping by now or shortly. Uh, you know, we can't say it's all shipped again, just given everything going on. Um, again, I look forward to getting mine soon. Uh, that includes in the UK and EU. We don't have as much visibility to that since it's not true Hasbro Pulse, uh, but, but it should be coming shortly. Brilliant. Thank you.